Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Phil. So today I'm having dinner at Sushi U2 and 181st, and I'll be saying my experience regarding filming a YouTube video using an iPhone. So what are we waiting for? Let's start the video. Hope you're having a great day guys. I'm at Sushi U2 181st. So I'm having dinner with my mom and uh, surprise surprise I forgot my main camera which is the GoPro. So all I had was my uh, iPhone and I'm here to try to film a YouTube video using that iPhone alone. I ordered sushi and my mom ordered seafood soup. So first up we have avocado rolls. A great appetizer with salmon, avocado, and a creamy sauce inside that roll. Perfect for an appetizer. Now this one, fried oysters, has a very crunchy coating. And uh, the thing that surprised me is the umami flavor of the oysters. Really, really delicious. And just be careful because the deep fried oysters are piping hot, fresh from the fryer. The oysters were soft, tasty, and packs a lot of umami flavor. So tonight, I ordered the Sushi Deluxe Platter. It has two pieces each of lean tuna, salmon, amberjack, one piece of shrimp and six tuna rolls and one piece of red snapper the tuna rolls are kind of bland so i prefer the avocado roll more for as an appetizer before the sushi and that's a scallop from my mom's seafood soup. The seafood soup is very savory and includes lots and loads of seafood. Includes fish, some mussels, some pieces of shrimp, and uh, some scallops with very soft noodles. Lean tuna, not much flavor because it is very lean. So I had to dip it in soy sauce to add to the flavor. Shrimp, a little bit sweet, although I prefer it to be raw because the raw shrimp has more sweetness in it, but still tasty with some soy sauce, so it's still fair. Butterfish, very flavorful slice of sushi because of the oils and fat content of that sushi. Very tasty and rich indeed. Red snapper has a very clean fish taste, well seasoned, and despite it being lean, you can taste some of the fat in that snapper. I apologize for the resolution, despite me filming in 4K, I wish I had brought like a spare light in order to increase the resolution and make it more clearer with an iPhone. But hey, lesson learned, and filming a YouTube video with an iPhone is fairly easy as long as you have good lighting and a tripod. And some salmon, really fatty, really flavorful and delicious because of those oils and fat content in the meat. So in my experience here, it is possible to make a YouTube video just using your iPhone because it's very clear and the resolution and the frame rate is still fair comparable to other cameras but hey if you got a better camera and if you didn't forget it like me then just use your camera but it is still possible to film using your iPhone Amberjack despite it looking very lean it 
actually packs a lot of flavor because it's a very fatty and creamy fish. Really, really tasty. And the last fatty piece of sushi for last. Thank you for watching this video and I really do hope that you enjoy it and thank you for your continued support and as always, like, comment and subscribe. See you later in the next video guys. Take care.